today, Dmitry with you from Meet One team. And today our guest is Taya Dada from uh, Unclog Project. And today Taya will tell us more about security and his vision about security and will, he will tell us more about his project as well. Hello Taya, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Very good, very good. So tell us a little bit, few, few words about yourself and about your project. So my name is Tayo Dada. Um, my, I have a project called uh, Uncloak. And Uncloak is designed for companies that want to protect their computer systems. And uh, it's built off the blockchain, the EOS blockchain. And uh, my background, I used to be a hacker when I was growing up. Um, I was a black hack hacker. Uh, and then I started to work for a number of uh, companies uh, such as KPMG, Accenture, Grant Fulton, um, basically providing hacking services for them, where my job was to break into systems and then obviously the company will get paid for breaking into. So um, actually, yeah, I think right now the generation, the new generation of people, a new age of hackers and IT people and different informational age. Yes, I saw one movie about kim.com maybe you heard about this guy yeah absolutely yeah kim.com yeah you know I, he's, I think he's still on a run i'm not sure what's happened if they, they're taking all his money away from him so uh yeah he, yeah. he kind of about like he will never give up he say like this and he will run his mega upload version too okay? that's right all right absolutely. today our, our talk not about him but today i will talk about another project which is <laughs> okay Coke, and meet one really glad to see you here and yes my face in and uh, please tell us more what is what is security is about why yeah. why you decided to do a security things right now yeah i mean right now i mean the world's in a strange place i mean the world currently there are more cyber attacks this year than any other year in history um and for example last year we had there was 4.1 billion attacks on business that were re recorded and you have to imagine for every attack there's probably a few other attacks that are not have gone unreported so the thing about what's happened so far is that there are so many ways that people can break into computers not just from your office computer but you have to understand that anything that's connected to the internet is actually susceptible to someone breaking in so if you've got a, a mobile phone you've got a notepad you've got a you know, you've got an iPad, LG or Samsung or whatever device you've got. If it's connected to the internet, it, it, there actually is a threat for that particular device. And so I think people are starting to realize the, the amount of hacks that they've seen in the public with huge companies like WPP and companies like Sony that have had huge attacks on their networks. So this is obviously all started to happen very, very recently and people started to take it a lot more seriously. And now the governments now have started to create laws around um, breaches. So if you get breached as a company, you actually get fined for it. And as cl as recently as Facebook um, off, off the past, who obviously allowed a lot of data to get out of their network. Right. Uh, right. I got you. Illegal. So there is a lot of threats which we cannot see basically until someone hack our computer, right? Absolutely. I mean, the thing about, unfortunately, the, you know, the thing about, you know, being hacked, a lot of people, don't do anything until they actually get hacked. And this is this is the issue now. So, you know, there's a great saying that prevention is better than cure. And, you know, the best form of cybersecurity is to make sure that you can get warned about potentially what could damage your machine. Because once someone gets into your machine, it's very hard to recover. And, you know, yeah. research right. states... Right. Um, yeah. I remember there was previous year, about one year ago, there was a one big virus around the whole world we show yes. the red screen and show like transfer some amount of Bitcoin of some That's right. Account. That's right. And Absolutely. There a lot of problems with healthcare system because healthcare system was hacked as well. It's called WannaCry. That was called a WannaCry. And WannaCry yeah. hit. WannaCry it came from. WannaCry is very funny because it, it was designed in, in the US and it was designed to penetrate enemy systems. That was the whole idea of it. But then someone had released that information or the code onto the dark web, which is obviously the hidden part of the internet. And it was sold in the dark web and then it became what's known as ransomware. And ransomware is a piece of software where you have to pay someone in order to, to get your information back. Because 
it damaged 54% of hospitals in the UK were affected by one well, Yeah, this is a really dangerous thing, but people do not think such way, you know, we know that it's easier to prevent things instead of solving problems. But many people do not think such way. So I think one of the part of your job is tell people and let them change their mind. They need to be more secure about things, what they're doing. They need to be more secure with their computers. And it's not only about uh, antivirus, antiviral systems. Correct. There is also some another uh, firewalls or kind of some some uh, solutions for that. Please tell yes, us more I'm, about Unclog. Yeah, so I mean, I think I think we said is, is absolutely bang on. You know, people have antivirus and they think that that's strong enough um, to to um, basically prevent them from from being attacked, but it's not. And well, what is great that there's governments around the world are realizing how important data really is. You know, data is the most important part of any business you know it's intellectual property it, it, it it's worth something you know it, that is your asset so government now are literally placing fines on companies that do not manage their their cyber security properly so even if in the past you wanted to avoid having to um in the past you might wanted to avoid the whole cyber security and just say okay right i don't need it now there is an actual requirement from the government and the way the reason why we came up the word with uncloak is because we found out that there is cybersecurity solutions, but cybersecurity solutions are usually paid for by the large businesses that can afford to pay for cybersecurity solutions and pay for cybersecurity consultants. And what we created with Uncloak is basically a virtual cybersecurity consultant. So rather than you having to spend loads of money on, on uh, finding someone to look after your cybersecurity. We wanted to create an affordable way for your cybersecurity to be taken care of. And that is what is Unclock's oh, all about. All right, all right, I got you. So I have a question. Um, yes. Yeah, I think that there is many cybersecurity companies around the world which work in some of them huge, some of them smaller. I would like yes. to know what is your difference? How, how you deal with that? Yeah, so, so the difference in gaps is, you know, at the high gap, you have companies like Darktrace and Tenable IL. These are companies that provide services for enterprises. Then at the very, very, very low level, you have antivirus. And the thing about antivirus is antiviruses are not strong enough to, to prevent someone from breaking into your machine. They, they, they're designed for one type of issue. Now, what we're trying to do is fulfill that gap in the middle because 96% of companies around the world are less than 250 members of staff strong. And we want to make sure we can provide a solution because there's nothing in that area between 96% of businesses that have antivirus and have a professional company looking after their cybersecurity. So we want to provide a service that is designed for small to medium-sized enterprises. So... They don't have to worry about spending huge hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of dollars on cybersecurity protection. It makes it affordable for all, no matter what size your company is. And so this is very, very different to what's... All right, all right. Let's, get, let's, get, let's get closer to the topic about like, there is a huge gap. There is a yes. company that can pay big bills and there is a yeah. just offering um, you know, antivirus. Correct. Uh, Correct. This, this gap... Uh, what is the pricing can be for this, for example? Yeah, so, for, so, so, for example, I, our service can be a, a couple of hundred dollars a month. And, so, and it's designed as a software as a service. And in our service, we have the, the service is designed to tell you what weaknesses you have in your business in terms of what, like if you've got a bad password, if your website isn't secure. That's one part of our system. But we also work with hackers, registered hackers on our system around the world using the blockchain that literally get paid for finding new weaknesses wait 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 stop 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 here is a bit slow down what is mean registered hackers yeah so for example what is very important is that on the system in order to have someone work with our system we have to have people that register onto our system so we, what what you have around the world are systems that allow groups of individual hackers to come together and solve problems together and so a registered hacker is someone who's signed up to our platform has gone through a registration process you know name you know first name last name date of birth registered right. onto our system so we know who they are and then from there we will then allow them to be able to receive tokens 
for finding new issues, which is absolutely brilliant. Wow, that's a great thing. Uh, the question is, uh, is your incentivize enough to encourage these people to cooperate with you? This is a question. The, one of the things that is that the, 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 the way that our system works is that the, that hack, hacking element or the, the threat bounty or bug bounty, whatever you want to call it, that's a very small part of our overall solution. But we, so we have, uh, we have, most of it is computer. Gen, it's a computer that manages the system. But there's a small element where you, it's always great to have a bit of a human touch. So we, have, we, we don't need to have thousands of hackers working around the world. We can just have literally a couple of hundred and we have access to a couple of hundred hackers now through our partnership with Adeco, who's the world's largest human resourcing company. So we can get access to hackers all over the place now, oh, straight right. away. I got your point. So, if you yeah, we don't, need, we don't need to have thousands of thousands. Yeah. There, there, is a, there is a limited amount of hackers in the world and we don't need to have thousands. We, we literally need tens of, to hundreds of hackers and that's about it. And we, we're, we're good to go. Um, I can see you wearing EOSIO t-shirts. You have been on a hackathon from EOSIO. <laughs> no, it's so funny. I mean, I, we, we've done a lot of conferences and, and, you know, we really do. I mean, the EOS community is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I met with yourself and we had a great time in Shanghai, which was absolutely awesome, awesome amazing, yeah. uh, arranged. So, um, but EOS has been great. I think one of the things that we love about EOS is the community is so strong. So, uh, as you see, he is doing his, his project about security but based on EOS. I have a question. Why you choose EOS? EOS is, I mean, out of all the blockchains, you know, the first thing, a lot of the blockchains are, are pretty slow. So, if you look at, you can't really do this on Bitcoin or, or Ethereum. The great thing about EOS, EOS is an actual, has an actual operating system on it, which is amazing. You've got, obviously, the creator of BitShares and Stemit, which has been running for since August 2016. It's a tried and tested platform, and it's the only decentralized computer that's currently out there that runs on a blockchain. So having a system that's so powerful like EOS that runs like a computer is amazing. There's no other, there's no other blockchain that, that's like it. And the, the, the community is so powerful. And EOS is literally rapidly, rapidly, day by day, becoming more and more advanced. And there's some of the best, best guys and techs in the world working on it, which is amazing. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. That's why we are here as well. <laughs> and we want to support uh, EOS as a, one of the block producers. Uh, I would like to know uh, one more question. How do you see your, your project and yourself in two, three years? Well, I mean, we want to be known as the, the name to go to when it comes to cybersecurity that, you know, cybersecurity is one of those areas that you either have to be quite specialized to know what vendors are out there. But we want to make sure that our name is as common as McAfee or as common as AVG or Kaspersky, that our name is as, as common as that amongst all businesses of regardless of their size, which would be amazing. So within two to three years, we want to make sure that we can get to a place of critical mass globally where our name is a go-to name when it comes to cybersecurity protection that's great that's great uh we are looking to see more updates from your projects and more great news about it uh as i know you are right now about the fundraising on the fundraising stage am i right absolutely so we're currently in our pre-sale private sale stage um, the main ico starts on september the 25th and that will run for a period of seven days. Um, we've had a huge amount of interest and we've great, got great tokenomics. Um, our tokens are actually used to power the platform. And so there's real value in our token and there'll be a real demand for our token. It's just, it's not a security, it's a prop utility token. So we're extremely excited about what we've got with Uncloak and we, I'm sure we're onto a great, some great things. That's, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty nice. Um, see you later and I wish you good success with your project. Thank you for call today. Thanks very much. Wonderful.